And here we are with Dawood alayhi salatu wasalam, who was the father of Sulaiman alayhi salam. Some people had come to him in order to uh, distinguish between them, in order to judge between them who was right and wrong. And unfortunately, without listening to one of the parties, he already made a decision. Immediately he realized he was wrong because he had not yet given the other party the opportunity to clarify what their position was and to express their evidence. So immediately he sought the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is made mention of in Surah Al-Anbiya. Uh, in fact, it's made mention of in Surah Sad, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَاسْتَغْفَرَ رَبَّهُ وَظَنَّ دَاوُودُ أَنَّمَا فَتَنَّهُ Here is the verse. وَظَنَّ دَاوُودُ أَنَّمَا فَتَنَّهُ فَاسْتَغْفَرَ رَبَّهُ وَخَرَّ رَاكِعًا وَأَنَابًا فَغَفَرْنَا لَهُ ذَلِكَ وَإِنَّ لَهُ عِنْدَنَا لَزُلْفَى وَحُسْنَ مَآبًا Allah says, Dawood alayhi salam immediately realized that Allah had tested him. So he sought forgiveness and he fell prostrate. He bowed down immediately, turning back to Allah. Now when we hear this verse, we are actually supposed to be falling down into prostration ourselves. And the reason is when we hear an instruction from Allah to the believers to fall prostrate, we fall prostrate. When we hear how others in the past have fallen prostrate, when they have had something uh, good they have heard, or when they have had an instruction of Allah and they fell prostrate, we also will fall prostrate. When we hear how some did not prostrate, even when they were instructed to prostrate, we fall prostrate because we are not like those. These are some of the reasons behind something known as sujood at tilawa uh, Those prostrations whereby you read a verse of the Quran and you have to prostrate. This is one of them where Dawood alayhi salatu was salam, uh, he fell prostrate as a result of seeking the forgiveness of Allah when he knew that what he did was actually a mistake. So Dawood alayhi salatu was salam, what we learn from this number one is something outside of this topic of supplications and that is when you judge between people make sure you give everyone a chance to put forward their evidence their story you don't judge without listening to both sides or more sides if there are more involved but if you want to give advice to someone you may give them advice without listening to anyone else because obviously if you were to ask me for advice based on something you said I would be able to advise you on condition that what you said to me was accurate. May Allah make it easy for every one of us. But a point I'd like to draw from this supplication of Dawood alayhi salam. Look at how he sought the closeness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by falling prostrate when he sought forgiveness. So with us too, we seek the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When we seek the forgiveness of Allah, we need to follow it up by engaging in acts of worship for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that would reconfirm that indeed we are connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 